Today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu on an old computer. Now Ubuntu is a free operating system and it's an alternative to Windows and Macintosh. And what's great about it is that it's free and I think it's as good if not better than, than Windows. Um, it doesn't have as much support though because not as many people use it but a lot of people do use it and it's great for restoring an old computer. So because it, it, it often it works well with a lot of different hardware. So what I'm going to do here, there's a couple, see the old computer can't connect to the internet which means that I need to use another computer to download the stuff I need. So I'm going to go online with, with my desktop and this is Windows XP I got here. So I'm going to go to the, the, a couple websites. The first website is pendrivelinux.com universal USB installer easy as one two three that's the uh, that's the uh, URL there and th this is the page and it's basically this is a free so a free uh, program that it, it's an installer which it'll install the software on the uh, old computer so I'm gonna download this and that's downloading the second website is just ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop now we got a couple we got a few options here for Ubuntu the um, the first one is, in other words, there's a few different versions, just like Windows has different versions. The first one is 12.04 LTS. That's the more common one. It's the, it's not as new, but it's it's better supported. And the other one is 13.04. And this might change, and it will change over time. But we're gonna go with with the 12.04, and then. The other decision here is the 32-bit or the 64-bit. 32-bit um, will run on a 64-bit machine, but a 64-bit program will not run on a 32-bit machine. An older computer, it's probably 32-bit. Most computers that are made after about, I'd say, 2010 are all 64-bit. So you probably want to, if, you're, if it's an older computer, you probably want to do the 32-bit. If you want to look up online what kind of computer it is and, and figure out if it's a 64-bit processor, then you can get the 64-bit. Okay, I got the 32-bit, and here it is. I'm going to download this. This is going to take a while. They want me to donate, um, maybe some other time. Take me to the download. So now this is downloading, and th this is a 700 meg file, so it's going to take a while. Okay, so the files finished downloading, and here they are in, in the download section. We got Ubuntu 12.04.2 dash desktop i386. That's the uh, that's Ubuntu. That's the version that we downloaded, and, and over here we have the universal USB installer. So we're going to start with this. We're going to run this. And I agree. So the first thing we have to do is we have to make sure we pick the right version so that it knows what it's working with. So we can see here that it's 12.042 and that's this one right here. So click that. Then, then it said here to find the file, which I did by browsing, and then I just clicked on on the file. Now we're gonna hook up the flash drive. So the drives are the flash drive is this thing, and I'm gonna plug it in. select the drive letter. Now I want to make sure I have the right one. It's it's G, so we're gonna click format and that's gonna make it that's gonna make the, the drive. Make sure you don't have anything important on there because it's gonna erase everything off of there. I don't know what this step four is, so I'm gonna skip it. And now we hit create and, and what it's going to do is it's going to take that file 
that we downloaded, the Ubuntu 12.04, and it's going to put it on that disk on the flash drive, and it's going to make it so that it will install on another computer when it's plugged in. So we hit create. Hit yes. Now it's going to create the flash drive. So after this is done, the flash drive will be an installer. So any computer that you plug it into and set it up right, it will put the Ubuntu operating system, this that the version that we picked, it will put it onto that computer. So this is done. Now we're going to switch over. We're going to take the flash drive out and we're going to put it on the old computer. All right, so here I have my USB installer and here I have my old computer and I want to put the operating system that I installed on this onto this computer. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that the computer is hooked up to the uh, AC power so that it doesn't lose battery power while it's installing something important. Then what I want to do is access the BIOS. Now to do this, it's different for every computer so you have to figure out how to do it. A lot of times when you turn the power on the computer is going to flash real quick how to access the BIOS and I already looked it up so I'm just going to do it for this computer. So I'm turning the power on now and entering IBM BIOS setup utility and that I just had to hit F1. Now what I'm going to do here is I got to get it to boot from this. So I'm going to go to startup boot and I want to put this this is the one thing I want it to boot from the USB. So I'm going to put put that on top because it says priority order. So I did that. Now I'm just going to plug this in and I'm going to hit F10 which is save and exit. Well, we see the we see the Ubuntu logo, so something's working, right? Okay, so I booted up the machine from the flash drive using the installer, and it took a little while, but eventually this is where it sent me. This is the Ubuntu home screen here. First thing I'm going to do is connect to the internet. So I go up to this icon up here, and it's already connected. But what you want to do is find your find your network here and then click on it and put in your password. I already did this because I tried to install it before and, and you have to get on the internet. So after you get on the internet, you're going to click on install Ubuntu. And it's going to start the process. Okay, you want English continue it's plugged into a power source make sure you're ready to go and now um, I'm gonna click on this because it's on the internet download update updates while installing and install third-party software this this will give it a more complete install and that's only because we're on the internet if you can't get on the internet you have to not click on these Now, we have some choices here. I want to get, this is an old computer, there's nothing of, of value on it. It barely runs. So I'm going to do this. It's going to erase everything and replace it with Ubuntu. But there's other options. You can also have a machine that has two operating systems on it. I just want one. and it looks like that's right we don't need to partition it, it's just gonna put it on there and replace everything else so 
install now. And now it is permanently putting Ubuntu on this machine. And after this we won't need to use the flash drive to start up Ubuntu anymore. Okay, so it just asked me some questions about my location and language and then here it asks for some login information and I already filled it out. Hit continue. And now it says that it's installing the system. The installation completed and I took out the flash drive and shut down the computer. Now I'm going to start it back up and if everything went right it should boot right into Ubuntu and I can begin setting up the operating system with the settings I want. Ubuntu is great for an old computer because what it can do is it, it, it'll speed it up a little bit and it's also great for computers that are for kids because one one thing about Ubuntu is it, it doesn't get viruses. A lot of people when they surf the net they'll download bad software. You don't have any of that with Ubuntu so it's great for kids or, or people who aren't great with computers because it, it stays stable and doesn't pick up a lot of bad software. Okay so it's it's going into the desktop it's connecting to the internet it looks like and so everything's all set